it's time that I go dig up my old time capsule. Uh, you know, I'll see some old things for old time's sake. Binoculars, Legos, a frog. Huh, Super Mario World. I wonder what this is. Wait a second, it's underground. I didn't put it there. <gasps> this is an ancient copy of a Mario game buried many years ago for future generations to enjoy. How do you know that for sure? Ah! <laughs> Turtle, where did you come from? Inside, can you answer my question? Yes, I know because of the process of elimination, Turtle. Now go back inside. Fine, but it's not a video game. What makes you say that? Look at the cover. Looks perfectly fine to me. Don't say that I didn't alert you about this. <laughs> what does he know? It's a game. Invalid disc. Well, Turtle, you were right. I'm almost always right. This TV show is based off of the Mario game, also named Super Mario World. It only aired for one season, albeit after the Super Mario Bros. Super Show and the adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3. I wonder what the series finale was for such an amazing show! Welp, I've got nothing else better to do. Super Mario World, it's a blast from the past. Okay, it's oddly catchy. I don't know what to say. The only thing I can say is, why Jamaican? Super Mario World. I know it's Super Mario World. The intro told me nearly a million times. Oh, the Forest of Illusion theme. Nice touch. Oh, do I have to go to bed so soon? Oh gosh, oh no, my eardrums. Well, now that the agony is. Tell how Luigi find Yoshi and Yoshi. Oh gosh! Here it is again! So, anyway, Yoshi wants to hear a bedtime story. Luigi agrees to tell Yoshi a story, of course. This bedtime tale is filled with luck, luck, and more luck. We banished King Koopa from Princess Toadstool's Mushroom Kingdom, but he found a way to escape into the dinosaur world. What does this stuff mean? I know that the episode is probably not at its worst yet, but this exposition is so rushed and confusing. Koopa football players, grab the prince- Whoa, what? Well, okay then. Also, there are so many wrong names in this episode, I just can't take it. Okay, my first major problem with this episode is that there's no explanation. So here's this place. We're not gonna tell you anything about this place, but just know that it's a place. It just doesn't make sense, show. Sure, you can say that it might be because I haven't seen all of the episodes, but this isn't the kind of show that has a very cohesive storyline. It's a show about Italian plumbers from Brooklyn who are living in caveman times. Back to the <coughs> story. Luigi falls into a pit that a... <laughs> Fire Sumo made. I also like to think that this was the beginning of Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing because he does absolutely nothing and doesn't die. Because we all know what would actually happen. Oh, yes, the show will be over. Nope, of course. 
Luigi bash blocks now! Oh no! Luigi, don't bash those blocks! You might find a Yoshi egg! <laughs> Luigi, find Yoshi egg! Aw oh, man, what did I tell you? Um. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. A green Yoshi came out of a red Yoshi egg. That's another thing about this show. It's not very true to the logic of the Mario series. Everything is just a tad bit off. Yoshi the Gluigi Mama! <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't think it would. Okay, no joke. Luigi tries to give away Yoshi after having him for approximately 20 seconds. But wait a second. I thought that Yoshi was Luigi's baby. Well, it turns out that the dinosaurs just wanted to eat them. This makes them want to run away for very obvious reasons. And he jumped on a blog. He's he's dead, guys. I'm I'm so sorry. The, the show's over. Just kidding, it's not. They then jump into a pipe that dumps them into the water. Hey guys, look, it's me right now. Wait a second, why do they have to get to the surface? In the game, Mario or Luigi can stay underwater forever and not suffocate. Even Yoshi can, but Yoshi is whining when he gets in the water. Yep, that's definitely me. So, anyway, they're chased back to the surface by a Magnum Bill, aka Bullet Bill, and they're carried to an island by dolphins. Once again, by complete luck. I swear this episode is just a luck fest. Then, Luigi rings out his cap. Who knew Luigi had such hair? And Yoshi gets away, of course. That's a common thing in this episode. Luigi scolds Yoshi and tries to assert that he's not a mom. Being inattentive, he realizes that there is a Wiggler right behind him. Oh my goodness, you're about to be eaten alive! I wonder who jumped on these Wigglers. They're already angry. Mario, wherever you are, yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, that was actually a pretty funny scream. I don't think Mario heard you, though. Yoshi, <laughs> Whoa, and I thought Kirby could eat a lot. After Yoshi eats the Wiggler, he goes on a wild eating spree. This wee dinosaur giving you a hard time, little brother? I'll fix him for you. No, not the character that's barely had any screen time in this episode. Anything but him! Now I know how a meatball feels. I don't even want to know, Mario. Oh. Ooh, Yoshi no like meatballs! Are you trying to say that Mario's a meatball? Cool it, caterpillar breath! I'm not your mama! Mama Luigi? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Luigi. I feel the same way. After that long laugh, Mario informs Luigi that Princess Peach is trapped inside Bowser's Coney Island... Disco Palace? What? Does Bowser just dance on his free time? Because, you know, that just makes sense. Mama Luigi, no leave Yoshi! Oh, just look at that cute face. Ugh, Yoshi's growing on me. That's a bad thing. Okay, let me get back to the plot. Mario and Luigi venture to Bowser's Coney Island Disco Palace, or Neon Castle. It's so evil! They then enter a conveniently placed pipe that leads into the castle. Luigi wants to know where a light switch is, and Mario says it's on the ceiling. Apparently a mystery block is a light switch too in this show. This gets them distracted and Yoshi leaves again. Good job, guys! You screwed up! And now, a musical number! Why is there a musical number? I don't know. It also sounds like it's sung by Roz from Monsters, Inc. 
That's a good question. Why is this song sung by this person? I thought the theme song established that the musical style would be kind of a reggae. It's almost hard to question this show anymore. After the song is over, Mario and Luigi walk into Bowser's throne room where Yoshi is gone. Bowser hides behind a pole and sends out his evil army of toy minions. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. They're just toys. Like this one. Darn it, you stupid karate chop action just work. While this is happening, Yoshi eats everything, even Bowser's throne. This makes Bowser really mad at Mario and Luigi, not Yoshi for some reason. But before the Mario Brothers get annihilated by the evil toy robot things, Yoshi eats all of the robots. Man, Yoshi just eats everything. Who ate all of the food? Yahoo! You didn't tell me you were bringing a secret weapon, Luigi. That's Mama, Mama, Mama Mario to you, Luigi. Mario tells Bowser to free the princess, or Yoshi will eat all of the castle. Honestly, I think he would have done that regardless. Bowser responds by saying that he can build another castle? Where is he getting all of this money from? And he taunts the plumbers with the key that they can use to find the princess. Yoshi eats it, of course. I'll be back. No, actually you won't be back, because, you know, this was kind of the last episode of the series. Turns out, Yoshi doesn't like the taste of keys, even though he likes the taste of robots. He spits out the key, and it goes right in the keyhole. Then they get back to Dome City with the princess. The flashback is over, Luigi finishes telling his story, and that's the end. <laughs> and that was the Super Mario World TV series. The show is far from perfect, in fact, far from good, but there are still some good things to get out of it. It has a couple of touches to it that remind me of the Super Mario World video game, even if it gets a ton of things wrong. In the animation department, it's okay, but there are a couple of frames that completely skip, the mouths don't sync up with the voices that well, and it's nothing really special. I think I'll give this show a... 2.9 repeating out of 10. Okay, now to go figure out who's buried this in my backyard. Dear CJ, here's a show that I reviewed that I didn't like that much, so I'm giving it to you. Hopefully you'll read this sticky note before you watch it. Please don't watch it. It's bad. Sincerely, Tyler.